I'm going to show you how to create your own fraction strips using construction paper so that you can use it with your students in your class or for any children that you have at home. So we're going to take these nine sheets of construction paper. I have nine different colors that are going to represent the different values of the fractions. And what you're going to do is create strips with them. So I have this green paper that I already kind of folded into eighths. So what I did was fold it in half and then I folded it in half again and then one more time and that creates eighths. So then what you're going to do is cut one piece off and that's going to work as your template for the other fraction strips that you're going to create. All right, so you want it to be pretty straight. It doesn't have to be perfect, but as accurate as you can get it. Then I'm going to take these other sheets of construction paper and I'm going to do three at a time and line it up with the green paper. and then cut so I have all of my strips about the same size. I'm gonna move that out the way. Then I'm gonna do the same thing for the next three. And you can also do this at school if you have a cutting machine or if you have your own cutting machine at home. It'll help you go a little bit faster. And then the last two sheets. So now we have all of our fraction strips that we're going to be using to create our now we have all of our construction paper that we're going to be using for our kit. So now you want to designate a color to a certain fraction value. So it's going to be similar to um, ones you might see online or actually actual physical fraction tiles or strips. So we're going to use the red as the whole. We're going to use the dark blue as the halves the pink as the thirds. Let's see if you can see that. The yellow as the fourths, the green as the fifths, the light blue as the sixths, the orange as the eighths. I'm going to see purple for the tenths, and then I'm going to use white for the twelfths. So we have our strips. So what we're going to do is fold to create our fraction strip. So because our red strip is going to represent the whole, we're gonna leave that alone. We're gonna take the blue strip and fold it in half to create halves. Simple, right? So what I'm gonna do after I fold each strip is outline where the fold is just to emphasize where that partition is. So we have halves. I'm not going to label them any further because I want my students to work with fraction strips without labels just to show that if the, the hole can change then that fraction size will be different based on whatever the hole is. But we'll talk about that in a different video. Okay so now the next color is pink and for this demonstration is going to represent thirds to create thirds, I kind of like to make like a little burrito, a paper burrito. If you make a lot of foldables with your students, sometimes we use the term burrito or we say like an envelope in a way where you try to get most of the sections to be about the same. You can use a ruler if you want but I try to estimate it with my eyes. So that generally it is, each third is about the same. So I'm gonna outline that. Now 
Now we're gonna use the yellow strip to create fourth. So the great thing about fourth is all you need to do is make your halves and then partition or fold those halves in half and it will create fourth. So we're gonna fold our strip in half and then we're gonna fold it again to make fourths. And they are fourths because it takes four of them to make up that whole piece. So I'm gonna fold these one more time and then outline where the folds are. Next are the fifths. Now, the fifths can be even trickier than the thirds. One trick I use to create fifths is to use the fourths to help me. I take, I line up the fifths, or what I'm gonna use to make the fifths with the fourths, and I'm gonna fold in the end to the middle of that second fourth. And it creates a fifth for me. So then I just fold that in five times, or it's probably four times, and that creates my fifth. And then fold on that back side just to reinforce those fold marks. All right. And then we're going to outline. Okay, next we have our blue strips to create our six. So six are just the thirds, and then we're gonna fold those thirds in half to create six just like what we did with the fours we started with the halves and then we folded them again to make fourth so i'm going to use the thirds as a marker and just fold into where the third to where it stops instead of making that burrito shape a burrito style burrito is not a shape <laughs> So there I have my thirds, so I'm gonna fold them in, and then I'm just gonna fold that third size piece in half or in two, and that creates six size fraction. And they are six because it takes six of them to make that hole. So we're gonna outline our six size fraction pieces. Now we're gonna create eighths. So our eighths fall right in line with our halves and our fourths. So I'm gonna start by making halves, fold that, then fold it again to make fourths. Then I'm gonna fold it one more time to make eighths. This is great to do with your students when you're exploring fractions um, in second or third grade or reviewing in fourth grade when discussing equivalent fractions or comparing fractions as well. And then you can use the fraction strips to help with adding and subtracting fractions later on after they understand the foundations of fractions. So we have our eighths. Now we're gonna use the purple strip to make tenths. Tenths are like fifths, and then fifths folded in half, so I'm gonna use the fifth fraction strip as my template and just um, fold in. You can also draw lines there, but I want to make sure I have the folds in place. So we have our fifth to make tenths. We're just going to fold.
fold the fifth in half to double our pieces. So each fifth was partitioned into two parts, so we have double our amount. And then last, we're gonna do our 12s, which is just our six and our thirds folded three times. So we can take our six and then partition our six in half or use our thirds. So I'm gonna use the thirds to fold it in to create thirds and then we're going to create six. So we have our third size pieces. We fold those in half. Now we have our six size fraction pieces. So I'm gonna fold those one more time to create our 12 size pieces. pieces. And doing this can help the students really see, even though that number is increasing, what's happening to the size of the pieces they're getting smaller and we need more of them to make that hole. So the last thing we need to do is outline our folds. And there you have our 12s, 12s. So we have our 12th, our 10th, our 8th, our 6th, our 5th, our 4th, our 3rd, our halves, and our whole. So we have created our own fraction strips to work on fraction concepts in our classroom or even better at home with our young kids as they are learning the concepts of fractions. I'm going to show you how to create your very own printable fraction strips using PowerPoint. So this is the end result of what we're going to create today. So we have four slides. We have our color fraction strips with no labels, the same with labels, and then both of those without color. So they are like black lines. All right, so in order to do this, we're going to open up a new presentation. And we are going to reformat our slide to mimic that of a printable sheet. So we're gonna go to design then over to slide size, page setup. We're going to change our width to 8.5 and our height to 11. Then I'm gonna hit scale up. What I'm going to do now is select the entire page and then delete the text boxes that were defaulted on the page. So now I'm going to create the fraction strips template. So I'm gonna go over to insert and click on table and hit insert table at the bottom. So we're gonna have one column, but the number of rows is gonna be nine. We're going from one hole to 12, but we won't have sevenths and we won't have ninths or we won't have 11th. So that's why we won't need 12 rows. So we're gonna need nine rows. So we're gonna insert. And there is your basic table. We need to make a few changes before we start creating our fraction strips. So we're gonna go up here to our ribbon where it has a variety of choices for your table. And I'm gonna hit this drop down bar or drop down menu and then come over to light where it says best match for document. Basically, you wanna click on the one that has no style. We don't want any color and no style. So now that we took away the color and it doesn't have a specific heading or style, I'm gonna select it again and then go up 
back to the ribbon and click on layout. And then I'm gonna come over here to the table row height and the table column width. So I'm gonna increase both. So I'm gonna increase the height to one. And that looks about right. Let's see if we can go up one more, what that would look like. I think that works as far as the height. You wanna remember about when you're printing it. I don't like my um, designs to be too close to the edge just in case it might come off when it prints out. And then we're going to adjust the width. And the same thing when it comes to the width. I don't want it to be clo too close to the edge. Let's see if we can get to seven five. What would that look like? All right, that works for me. So I clicked away from that ribbon. So now I'm back on the page. So here is the basic template for our fraction strips. So now what we're going to do is select our table. When you select that table, different things change in the ribbon, but what you wanna make sure you're under is table, these or not table design, layout. So in layout is where you can split and merge your cells. So each row in the table is a cell. So the first row, we're gonna leave exactly how it is because that's gonna represent our whole. The second row, I'm going to split the cell and it automatically defaults to two columns, one row. And that's exactly what I want. I want the row to stay the same, but I want it to be split into two columns. So we're gonna press insert and boom, you have your two columns and that represents our halves, our half size fraction strips. So now we're gonna click in the third row and we're going to go to split cells. So we have that default of two columns and now I'm gonna Click the arrow up to go to three columns. Keep the row the same. We're not changing the rows at all. Insert to three row, three columns. So now we have our thirds. On the fourth row, we're gonna do the same. Repeat these same steps. We have our fourths. We have our fifths. Our six, remember we won't have seven. Now I'm trying to click on, or I couldn't go up to eight, so I typed it in and I'm pressing insert. Sometimes I get this error message and sometimes I don't, which is interesting, but however, we can work around it. So if you get that error, remember eighths are just fourths partitioned in half or have partition two more times. So I'm just gonna put four in here and then you can you could have left it highlighted or highlight again and then I'm gonna split each of those separate cells into two columns and that gives us our eighths. The same with the tenths. So we can you can also copy and paste. So if I right click and hit copy and here, click paste. I have my fifths, and while it's selected, I'm gonna go up to split cells, leave it at that default two, and that creates my tenths. And then for six, we're going to copy our six, paste them, and then split them into two equal parts or two equal shares. All right, so there is your basic, basic template. So that one we're gonna absolutely leave the same, leave just like that. So you have a blank black line master for fraction strips with no labels. So now we are going to create our label. So I'm gonna come over here to the slide on the side and I'm gonna hit duplicate slide. You can also hit command D or control D if you have a PC. So this one, I'm going to create text boxes to add in for my fraction symbols. So let's do about this size. And then inside of it, I'm gonna come up to insert and over to equation, hit equation, and then hit fraction. 
and select that first fraction. I'm gonna make sure I hit in the bar. Here's one, and then on the bottom, it's two. I want the text to be a little bit bigger. And then center it. And there's my half, so I'm gonna take that and duplicate it to place it over here. And then I'm going to duplicate the half again, bring it down here, and then change the two to a three to create my one third. Let me make sure that's where I want it to be. So there we have our fraction strips. Let's add in our number one in the middle and make that a one. And I want that to have the same font, so it's gonna be Cambria Math and make it a little bit larger because it is the whole. All right, so there are fraction strips. So we have our Black Line Masters without labels and then with labels. So now what we're gonna do is add in the color. But first, let me, I'm going to select all and then I'm gonna hold down the command button and deselect the table and then group all of my fraction labels together. So now I can move them around if I want, but I'm gonna hit undo to put them back in place. All right, that's gonna come in handy when we're adding in our colors. So we're gonna duplicate these two slides and we are going to add in our color are very common colors that you'll see on most fraction tiles or circles or bars. Sometimes you see different colors, but generally you're gonna have these main colors for the strips. So for our whole, we're gonna come up to table design and go to shading and we're gonna make that red. Our halves, we're gonna make like a navy blue. Our thirds, we're gonna make like a peach color, salmon. <laughs> our fourths are going to be yellow. Our fifths are gonna be green. Our six are gonna be like a bluish, a teal. Um, sky, teal. There we go. Our eighths are gonna be brown. Mocha. Our tenths are going to be purple, my favorite color, purple. And then, so normally you see with fraction tiles, you see the twelves in black, but that you kinda can't see the lines. So I'm gonna make that, you can make that white, you can make them a light gray or a dark gray. So I'm gonna make them a dark gray. And there, there are our fraction strips without labels, but that do have color. So similar here, black line, and here, color. So we're gonna do the same thing, but with our, our labels. So I was gonna color them individually, but something that's even faster. Let's duplicate this slide with the color and we're gonna take, let's move the table out the way. We're going to 
select those fraction labels that we grouped together. So now they're one unit. So if you press Command C to copy or right click and then copy and then go back to this slide and then right click and paste, boom, there are your fraction symbols. So we can delete this slide all together. And there we have our fraction tiles or your fraction strips that you can print out yourself for your own students or for any children that you're working with at home. So the last thing you need to do is just save it to your computer and is ready for you to print.